This episode is brought to you by Bumble. So you want to find someone you're compatible with, specifically someone who's ready for a serious connection, totally open to having kids in the future, is a tall rock climbing Libra, and loves rom-coms with vegan pizzas on Tuesdays just as much as you do. Bumble knows that you know exactly what's right for you. So whatever it is you're looking for, Bumble's features can help you find it. Date now on Bumble. The Burt Show. All right, we're about to start texting with Lane, who has a bizarre kind of reason, not one that I've seen before, to want to text her ex-boyfriend's new wife to go to lunch with her. Hey, Lane. Hi. All right. <laughs> I'm crazy when you say it like that. <laughs> well, it, it is the most un- one of the most unique texting tutors we'll ever do here. So what's the history here? And This is an ex-boyfriend. How long ago and how did we get here? You know, okay, so maybe I am crazy, but thank you for helping me. Um, well, you came to the right place. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Crazy lives here. Down the clown. So I, uh, platonic friends. This is my ex Todd. Uh, we broke up, broke it off like two and a half years ago, a year after we, because we share so many mutual friends, very seamlessly became mutual friends. Um, not all exes are like that, but uh, I was with Todd. We just get along. It's great. But then he got married to Trish and every boyfriend I feel after we break up gets married. Like Mm. (laughs) very soon after. I feel like I hear this story a lot. Like, do most women feel this way? Like I'm the one that trains them. And then the next woman is the one that he ends up marrying. Mm Do you say that over and over and over again? Uh, That's a nice way to put it. Yeah. But now I'm just (laughs) like, like, I, maybe this is getting to me. Maybe I need to go take like a small vacation or something. But like everyone my age, all of my girlfriends too are married. And like my relationship they just, they like, at this around the six months between like, you average six months, they just, they just don't, they just don't go further. Okay, and so there's I, nothing wrong with like asking yourself like, why are these consistently ending at the same time? But wouldn't you go to your ex-boyfriends for that? I mean, they'll give you an answer, but I want to hear women's ideology. So like, I've been going to my friends, I've been like, What's like, how do you, how do you view relationships? How do you view your partner? How do you view the idea of a partner? And I just, she's great. She's she's great. Her name is Trish. And I want to ask her a lunch so I can find out how her ideology on love and marriage and herself and within all of that. I just, I feel like I'm missing something. (laughs) Okay. So it's not that you want to, like you want to poach information from her if he said anything about you, because why would he talk about you to who was his girlfriend and now his wife? You just want to know how she got married? Yeah. I honestly want advice. Like if she tells me something that he didn't tell me, whatever, that's fine. I just, I truly am like desperate so, here and I just, yeah. Okay, let me break this down because I, th- I think I know where you're going with this. I think so. So you okay. want to see what she has you don't. Like why did he yes. fall in love with her and not you? So you want to sit down with her just to find out what he's attracted to and what he ended up falling in love with? Kind of, but not him exclusively. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like I just want to know like more of like, I want to see a pattern. You know, within the, my married friends, like what is it that gets them to, you know, seal the deal and say, this is the person I want to try and be lifelong partners with. Right. Like, and I want to know what she, what she does. I don't know what she thinks. <laughs> and I, I, yeah. Cass. <laughs> sound insane. Oh my God. Um, honestly, Ooh. like it could just be, she's a, a different person. It would make more sense if you really wanted answers to do a relationship report card and ask your ex mm-hmm. why, and go in it being very like, Hey, this is not supposed to be like, I'm not causing drama. I just want to know what made you settle down with her and what am I lacking? Because if you really want to know why these relationships are ending, you should go to the mm-hmm. source. It's not going to help you going to their new person because she's a totally new person. It could literally be like they both have the same interests in the same types of dog. Like you don't know. It, the, that info is not going to help you. Or the time you might just have been right. I'm trying to figure out in my head here, Lane, like how often do you text with your ex-boyfriend's new wife? That's the thing. So like I wouldn't want to, God, 
I would want, th- want this subject to come up when we go to lunch. I don't really want, I don't know if I really want to broach it. Is that even am I saying? Oh right? yeah. You don't want to text. Don't you don't want to text her. Hey, I want to go to lunch because of blank. You just want to get her to lunch. Right. And have you guys yeah. ever texted before and have you ever gone to lunch before together? We met. She is the nicest person. And we always promised each other, like, hey, we should get coffee. That We've is, always done that. We, or that's what we did when we met that time. And But we just never follow through. I, I don't follow think through it's going to be a big deal for us to get a lunch with her. I just feel like okay. I'm wondering if this is really going to accomplish what you want it to. I, it just, Hello. yeah, Cass. I'm sorry. Like that, we should get coffee sometime is the ultimate sign off of I don't ever plan on getting coffee with you, but I don't want you to think that I'm on bad terms with you. It's what you say to acquaintances. Like we should do drinks sometime. Like, hey, yeah, you're fine with me. You're cool with me. We're never going to hang out. If my husband's ex reached out to me and wanted to invite me to lunch, I'd be like, why? And then when I got there, if she started asking me, like, why did he marry you, not me? I would be so uncomfortable. Even if it's, I believe you, Lane, it's from a very genuine spot. Like, it's not drama seeking. You're not attention seeking. You want answers. I just don't think this is the right way to go. It's it's weird. All right. Give us a couple of minutes here, Lane. And when we come back, okay. we'll debate this a little bit more. See if you really want to do it. And if you do, we'll certainly text her and try to get you that lunch. But like Cassie said, it might be met with a like, no, 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 no. So you got to be prepared for that, okay? All right. Thanks. Uh, all right. Appreciate we'll con- it. We'll continue texting to you next. The Burt Show.